Hello everyone, today we have new video review and today we are going to talk about fresh release from Citizen. It's their uh, Divers watch which is a completely new model, so here you can see it. And the model name is uh, Marine Divers Promaster BN0227 and this version is 09L. So we have here, let's say, the final sample which was provided by Hirveti uh, watch shop and it will be interesting to check what is actually inside this nice case, inside this watch and why it might be an interesting option for those who are doing a lot of desk diving or maybe even for professional divers. First of all, it will be important to note that this watch is reincarnation of the original diver watch from Citizen. Nevertheless, there are several new features which make it even more useful in everyday life and in the professional diving. And I suggest we start with the dial and then we will continue with other parts of this watch. notice that we are dealing here with a blue colored version and it affects not only the strap but also the dial case of course it stays the same color in all other versions and why I'm mentioning other versions because there are two other types available you can get the green watch with the green strap obviously and you can also get the black watch which also features slightly different bezel with the uh, golden color digits. But here we are we having, I would say, more or less conservative combo. And in my opinion, this is one of the best looking diver watches for this price tag. And let me explain why. So first of all, we have here the dial. And as you can see, it is not huge. Even though the case size is 47 millimeters, dial is obviously smaller. I would say it's around 39, so you can see that it is nicely protected by the bezel and also by the case. We also get the camouflage pattern here on the dial. We get the huge indices which are applied indices with the large luminescent inserts. And this is really a handy feature for diver watches. And the same goes for the handset. So we have one big part for the hour handset and we also have the minutes hand which is quite large so it's easy to find the their position and it's quite legible so you won't be having any issue in a dark conditions in everyday life. It's just a quick glance and you know what time it is. Another thing to note is again I recently noticing it uh, quite often on citizen watches that we do not have a lot of writings here and this watch is not an exclusion because we have on the citizen logo we have also echo drive and water protection level and that's pretty much all and of course on the bottom you will find the movement and made in japan i think yeah it's japan movement but it's barely noticeable due to the small font Another thing to mention is that here we have white date window and in my opinion it looks a bit weird because it's not huge so it's very difficult to notice without the magnifying section on the glass and also white color breaks overall composition of this uh, blue camouflage so in my opinion it could have been in a blue color it's not a difficult modification or at least in black so that it will be more sleek appearance for this dial. 
And as for the second hand, we have here, uh, I would say, a classic diverse composition with a lollipop end, so it's also easy to find. And I'm happy to find that the hand is more or less aligned, as far as you can see, with indices. So it's not a typical misalignment which we are used to see in a quartz movement watches. Another thing to mention is that the whole dial is covered with a mineral glass. So it's not sapphire, which is rather surprising in this price range, but from the other point of view, it should be durable due to this, uh, I would say, quite massive protection. So I hope that it will survive everyday life. But of course, it would be better to have here the sapphire glass instead. we can talk about case because this watch has a special part first of all design is quite unusual I would say this X shaped case is quite impressive on the wrist and as I said the case size is 47 millimeters nevertheless it doesn't feel large and that's all thanks to the material which is used for this case it's a super titanium which is uh, i would say original citizen material which we also encountered in the previous video reviews and it is quite light weight and also it is durable and note that here we also have the pvd coating that's why it's more scratch resistant. It should be more durable in everyday use and I think it's really important for diving use as well. Note that the thickness is not that huge, it's 14.3 millimeters, so that's why it might be easy to hide under the sleeve. And also we have a screw down crown, so it's a classical feature for divers watches, it is preserved here. And we have two positions for the crown, we have also nice engraving for the Promaster series. And of course we have a very nice uh, crown part, it is large, it has the ribbed surface, so that's why it is easy to operate even in the gloves. And that's something what I appreciate. We have also this special crown protection, as you can see it is placed on four sides uh, diagonally, or X-wise I would say. And we also have the classic bezel which moves anti-clockwise and I have to say that the movement is quite smooth. We do not have a distinct clicking sound here. It's more of a silent sound which is rather, I would say, classy. It doesn't feel cheap. And the part itself, it doesn't have free movement. What is also appreciated in this price range because it feels high quality and it adds to the overall perception of the watch. Now that we are dealing with a more or less professional diverse watch, that's why we have the case back in a steel part. There are no transparent inserts, but from the other side it's a quartz movement, so there is nothing to see inside. Maybe that's also the reason Citizen decided to go with a plain metal part covering the movement inside. I mentioned that we have a screw down crown, obviously it is done for the water protection and the water protection here is at 200 meters. That's why I was saying it might be used for professional diving, obviously you won't go on to the extreme depth with this watch, but it should be fine for a casual diving or I would say semi-professional diving where you won't be reaching a really extreme depth as I said before. And also it is notable that we have uh, 88 grams weight, so it doesn't feel heavy and that's why you should be able to wear it whole day without any discomfort and it feels just sleek on your wrist. Quite interesting is that watch fulfills the ISO 6425 which is a diverse standard uh, for the watches. So that's why you can just get it and use it straight away for the diving. 
I have to know that, uh, as I said before in this video, that we have the quartz movement inside, but it's not fully quartz because it's a more of a combination with the solar movement. It's a citizen in-house movement, which provides you a six month power reserve. And the caliber name is E168. And also it is notable that this movement or this caliber can show when the power reserve is low. So you will be able to identify it without any digital displays here. It will be displayed with the second scan as far as I remember. Strap width is 24 millimeters, so a standard size. Moreover, I was surprised to see another additional end of the strap included into this package. With the watch out of the box, you get a professional strap end, which will be easy to wrap around your diving suit. But this one, as you can see, it's a standard part, so it's uh, quite handy and it's very comfortable to use. As you can see, it's very flexible, it stretches easily. With my 18 centimeter wrist, as you can see, I'm able to wrap it around and there is some space left for further adjustment. And it sits just nicely, so 47 millimeters doesn't look huge. And here I think it's worth talking about in-use experience. So for the in-use experience, I already have this watch on my wrist and I tried it for one day. I have to say that it's very surprising experience with this watch because when I saw the specs on the website, I was surprised with the size, but now you can see it on my wrist. It doesn't look huge. It doesn't feel huge. And all this thanks to the super titanium case, which looks sleek and it's quite lightweight. So that's why you don't feel a huge discomfort while having this watch on your wrist whole day. And another thing is that this is a classical diver's watch with this dial layout. So that's why it's easily legible. And I didn't have any issue even in the dark time. As for the loom, I have to say that it is somewhere in the middle between some extreme bright light loom, which we can see in the professional diver watches and with some, let's say, basic level, which is offered on the market. And this is not bad because it's enough for the casual user and it's easily charged on the bright sunlight. So I don't think you will have any issues with that. I'm still a bit bothered with this date window because it looks kind of off, especially because of its tiny size. It doesn't provide any functionality because it's a bit difficult to find the window itself and also to read the date because the font is really tiny. I also appreciate the build quality because everything feels just sturdy. I like the crown because usually I'm not a huge fan of large crown parts, but here it just feels in place. It's easy to operate and it's something you enjoy when you have to set the right date if you are doing it a lot or maybe you would like to change the time if you are traveling a lot, obviously. And of course the crown, this absence of the distant clicking sound, it's also something unusual and sometimes it's just a fun to rotate it while working at the front desk. So this diver's watch should be already available. As I said, Helveti gave us a chance to review it, so that's why you should be able to get this watch in Helveti webshop. And I have to say that price tag is quite reasonable. It's around 500 US dollars. And for this price, you get a lightweight material, you get a really good build quality, you get a high quality strap. And of course, the solar movement, which is rather reliable and it won't be making you to worry about the date setting, about the time setting, because it just goes, I mean, six month power reserve is not a joke. And of course, in everyday use, it's more of an advantage and really huge one in case you're not a huge fan of making the manual adjustment every time you try to wear your watch. Another thing, of course, is the overall size perception. Thanks to this material, it completely changes the experience and that's why it's easy to wear. It doesn't get uncomfortable during long time use. And I recommend to try it in person because it will change your opinion about this watch. First thing is to see this watch on the pictures and another thing is to try it because uh, it just doesn't combine together the size of this watch and the weight of it. It's really surprising. And as for the whole, I think Citizen did a great job, but there are a few things which could have been better. Who knows, maybe they will be brought in the next updates. 
As for what we are getting at the moment, I think it's really good option for a one watch collection, especially for those people who like to dive with their watches or maybe even swim in the swimming pool. Thanks to the proper water protection, thanks to this special material, it won't be a beaten down watch. It will survive everyday use and it will still look nice, special and of course lightweight on your wrist. So if you are interested in this watch, definitely give it a try, especially in this blue color, it looks great in my opinion. And you can get it in Helvetia, as I said before. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about this watch. Do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and listening about this watch. Stay tuned for more reviews and bye.